In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to configure a heating profile for a Eurotherm EPC 3000 series program controller via the Eurotherm iTool software. The iTool software is given away complimentary by Eurotherm, but it does require a special USB cable. LNL Special Furnace provides this USB cable with any EPC controller. Our first step is going to be to connect the controller to iTools. We have already posted a video going over how to perform this task. For this demonstration, we're using an EPC 3004, but the steps are the same for an EPC 3016. Once the controller is connected and synchronized with iTools, we want to navigate to the programmer screen. Looking at the programmer screen, we first have a load from file button, which will allow the operator to load a previously saved program directly to the currently selected program. Next, we have a save to file, which will allow the operator to save the currently selected profile to a local drive. Next, we have the currently selected program. This can be set anywhere between one and 10 as the EPC has 10 possible programs. LNL will set the program parameters the same for all 10 programs. Bullbeck style is per segment, ramp and dwell units is per hours, program cycles is set to one, program end type is set to reset. More information on these parameters can be found in the Eurotherm manual. Now we're going to configure a program. In this case, we're going to write LNL standard brick bakeout program. But first, we want to make sure to select Program 10 and then go to the Segment Parameters tab. Our standard brick bakeout program in Fahrenheit is as follows. First, we ramp from room temperature to 300 degrees at 300 degrees per hour. We dwell there for three hours. We ramp to a temperature that's about 200 degrees shy of the max temp of the furnace. In this case, we use 1800 degrees at a rate of 300 degrees per hour. Dwell there for 10 minutes and then end the program. So for segment one, we want to set our segment type to ramp rate. Our target set point is 300 degrees Fahrenheit and our ramp rate is 300 degrees per hour. Segment two, we're going to set as a dwell for a time of three hours. Segment three, we will again set to ramp rate. This time the target set point is 1800 degrees but the ramp rate is still 300 degrees per hour. Segment four will be another dwell, this time for 10 minutes. And segment five will be our end. We set in the program parameters that the end action is reset, which means the programmer will go back to the set point it was at before the program started. As we fill out the program segment parameters, a line graph will graph out the set point to give the operator an idea of what the program will look like. The time is not to scale in the graph, it is only showing the set point. One last thing to show with the EPC controller is that if the PV unit is changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the program set points will also adjust as well. We wrote this program with set points of 300 degrees and 1800 degrees and a ramp rate of 300 degrees per hour. We can get into access mode and then change the input unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius. After that, we'll need to reload program number 10. And now we can see that our set points have updated to 148 and 982 degrees Celsius, and our ramp rate is 166 degrees per hour. We are going to set the temperature unit back to Fahrenheit before ending this video. Any changes that have been made to the controller are changed live. Anything that happens on iTool screen happens on the programmer. There is no need to save the config to the controller after making changes. While we have the controller in access mode, it's always recommended to save an archived copy of the controller configuration whenever changes are made. Simply right-click the controller in the iTools tree, select Save to File, 
navigate to a save location. Finally, before removing the controller from iTools, make sure to get out of access mode by just clicking the access button. Once access mode is off, simply click the remove button to disconnect from the controller. And that covers the basics of writing a program for a Eurotherm EPC 3000 series program controller from within the iTools software. For any further assistance, please reach out to our service team at service at llfurnace.com.